What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, leads, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, um, oracle reading for sign of leaves. This could resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general oracle reading for sign of leaves. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bond.com. We're at 11,740 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it so very much. I heard keep that one reverse. So um, I just want to um, thank everybody. Thanks so much. Okay, so um, I received one channel message in as I was meditating on Libra's Oracle card reading energy. So I'm going to share it. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so um, the message I received was um, a Libran officer of the law, I heard, is about to take no mercy on a prostitute. Um, about to book them is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, Libra police officer. Who are you? Uh, not who. Who are you? You go with your bad self. Whoever you are. Um, you're a Libran officer of the law. Um you could have Libra in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midham, or Jupiter charts. I feel you could be masculine or feminine, whoever you are. Um, I heard you're about to book them. I'm about to tell um, you're about to show uh, take no mercy on them. I feel in the past for some of you guys, you did show mercy in the past. Um, I feel you probably for some, I feel you might have known they've been prostitutes for a while. Now, you know, prostitutes can be masculine or feminine energies. Uh, the masculine energy prostitutes are usually called gigolos. And the females are usually called prostitutes or hoes or, you know, whatever they term they use street side, whatever. But um, I feel it could be a masculine or feminine prostitute, um, whoever this is and however they apply in your life. Libran, officer of the law, masculine or feminine, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, but like I said, I feel you have known they've been a prostitute for a while, whether they're masculine or feminine. You, I do. I feel whoever this is for. For some of you guys, I feel you've known for a while, but um, you're about to show no mercy. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, yeah. Period. Oh my gosh, Libra, are you emotional or dealing with somebody with addictions? The same mess happened in Capricorns, except several times. I feel you're either emotional or somebody is emotional about you, or you're an emotional about a situation, or someone is emotional about a situation with you, um, or you're dealing with someone with addictions or you have addictions, however that resonates in your life, because when the cards fly out like that, in a reading, everything happens in a reading for a reason. It can signify emotion, being emotional, or addictions in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if it does resonate for you. Spirit messages you have for Libra. Number eight and nine can be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly eight or nine. It can be a possible ages of child or children in your life. Possibly, um, it could be a possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, eight or nine. But I feel you're holding it together because you saw, I mean, they didn't flip out that time, but it was almost, it almost happened. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Libra. A particular Libra masculine is about to have a wonderful influence in their life soon. A true mentor. 
Well, that's awesome. Work on um, whoever you are, Libra Masculine. Or a particular um, Libra Masculine is about to have um, a true mentor in your life soon. Um, it sounds like a true positive influence. And, you know, what's ironic, when I received that channel message, I was getting the tea leaves out. And right after I received the channel message, this, this popped up. You will be shown the way. I feel that can go with your mentor energy, possibly um, Libra Masculine. Um, I feel this person, whoever this mentor is in your life, it can be a masculine or feminine energy, but I definitely think they're mature. Now, who I don't know your age. You Only you know your story, not anybody else. But And they can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, etc. But I think they're mature is what I'm saying. I think they're going to show you the way in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I feel mature energy there. That's really beautiful. Um, for some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or fire sign because you have earth sign and fire sign energy in your animal spirit cards. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are, Brown Bear Spirit, take time out. Camping is coming for one particular Libra. Loves to camp. Another particular Libra is going camping, but the police will be called. Drugs. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay. Well, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so one of you guys is going camping, and I feel drug-free. I'm just saying. Um, drug-free is the way to be. Has anybody participated in DARE in like fifth grade? I'm just saying. Um, for the first category, category one over here, Libra, I think you're going camping and I think you're going drug free. Um, and I'm just being serious. Whoever you are, masculine or feminine, I heard you really love to camp. And I feel you. Me too. When I'm able to. Um, I heard you're going to have a lot, lots of fun, basically. Um, so you're going to go camping. You love to go camp. Maybe for some, you haven't been in a hot minute. Um, and it is springtime or kind of, oh, well, it's springtime now. So, you know, nice weather in most areas to do it. So, um, you go with your bad self. I'm feeling drug-free for category one. So, um, taking time out is, I'm feeling you time, self-care time, enjoyment time, um, camping time. Pos probably drug-free. Category two, I heard another Libra, masculine or feminine, whoever this person is. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. I heard they're going camping too, but they don't really enjoy camping that much. But the police are going to be called. There will be drugs. So whoever this person is and however they apply in your life. If it's not you, it could be another Libra you're connected to. But I heard they don't like camping. So it sounds like someone they are connected to is... Um, either forcing them to go or pressuring them to go or maybe they just didn't stand up for themselves and they just went anyways but it sounds like they're taking drugs with them um and it sounds like somebody at the campground is about to get wind that they um have drugs and they're about to call um good lord life is a mystery i heard keep this on reverse My postmaster got a haircut, and it looks really nice on him. Holy moly. Huge secrets are about to come out soon and very quickly. Some to a particular police force. Some to an investigator. Some to a neighbor. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. And someone's about to learn. A Libra's about to learn. Someone ran away, literally, to join the circus. Oh, my God. That's that's interesting. Well, yeah, but, you know, that's really more common than you think. Um, I know that sounds a little crazy. But I, I went to high school with somebody. True story for me. I went to high school with somebody, and I was friends with her. She was um, like an outcasted individual, and I mean, I, 
I wasn't an out, well, I was kind of an outcasted individual, but I made friends with all the outcasted people, if that makes sense. So I wasn't really lonely, but she was an outcasted individual. People made fun of her a lot, but she actually ran away to join the circus. So, I mean, I've known some, I've known people in real life that have done that. So whoever you are, Libra, you're about to find out, um, I guess somebody you're connected to or somebody your past um, is about to run away to join the circus. Um, it really does happen. Um, true story. Just saying. Um, but however this resonates for the first one, um, Libra is about, uh, whoever you are, Libra, masculine or feminine, you're about to learn huge secrets. You're about to come out soon and quickly. Some you're an investigator. Some you are a law enforcement official. Some you're a neighbor. So life is a mystery reverse. In this aspect is the secrets coming out soon and quickly. Um, some for some you'd be dealing with a Piscean or a Cancer possibly because you know secrets um, energy is Piscean and Cancer Cancerian. I cannot speak Piscean or Cancerian energy possibly or not. If you are, they could have Pisces or Cancer and their Sun Moon Rising Venus or Feminine image Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, but whether you are or aren't, secrets are coming out. The mystery is about to be revealed in some of these situations. I think that's why it's reversed. Um, some your neighbor, um, some so it might be on your neighbor or neighbors, um, or a neighbor might be telling you these secrets. Some you're an investigator, so you know you could be a law enforcement official investigator, or you could be a public investigator, or a private investigator, or any other kind of investigative something something. How that resonates, and um, what was the other one? Some your officer of the law. So you plug it in how it resonates. Intention. Full moon magic is about to backfire on one very dark arts person very soon. Heavy dark arts. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I don't feel this is you. I feel it's somebody you're connected to unless you are the low vibrational, heavy, dark arts wielding individual. Um, however you wield your wand, whether it's on the light side or the dark side there, um, only you know your story, not anybody else leaves. But um, somebody was performing heavy, dark arts around the full moon, I'll tell you that. Whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, their intentions was on the dark side. They're waving their wand, wand on the on the dark side, baby. Just saying, just saying. Um, but now it's about to energetically boomerang, backfire back on them. Um, whoever this person is. So their intentions were set on the dark side. So much so, hell, some of them might have been out there dancing naked under the damn moon for all we know. I didn't hear they were, but they might have been. Um, but they definitely had dark intentions. And they, it sounded like they premeditated their dark intentions to strategically do their intentions and work underneath the full moon. To, and they, they, I'm sure they did that to make it stronger, the magic stronger. Um, and it probably did make it stronger. I'm sure it did. But now it's back, it's boomeranging backfire, backfiring back on them. Dark arts always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. This case, it sounds like it's going to be a lot. Um, but everybody's situation is different there. So their intentions is about to go boom because they had negative intentions for the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates. Union reverse. A particular Libra is single as a Pringle now and they are loving it. Loving it. All about this life. But not putting themselves out there. Dating. Freedom, freedom. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Yeah, whoever you are, I like you. Because that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. Um, I'm serious. I've been single, uh, like legally, as single, like on the tax return single, for a very, very, very long time, for anybody to know. A very freaking long time. But it's not because, I mean, I, and I have dated. I ain't gonna lie. I've dated. Used to date for years. Um, but I don't date and I haven't dated for years. I haven't dated for years. But my point is, 
I love being single. I love it because it gives me, I can do whatever. I mean, not that I do bad things, but I have, I, I don't have to answer to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I can go have fun. I can go to the amusement park. I can take my kids to somewhere fun. We can go a weekend wherever. I don't have to, you know, say, oh, I'm going here. And then my phone blows up 50 times. You know what I'm saying? Like a controlling partner energy. Um, I wanted to do that strategically so I would find the right person. So I wouldn't have be under in a controlling relationship because I had been in a controlling relationship before and it was suffocating. Um, and that's just me. But I'm just telling y'all my story a little bit so you kind of better understand. Um, but whoever you are, I feel, um, I think this is the same type of energy for you is what I'm trying to say. Whoever you are, masculine or feminine energy, I heard freedom. You're finally single. It's like freedom, baby. But I think it's like freedom from control and domineering energy and maybe um, freedom of someone sucking you dry financially, possibly for some. Um, I don't, I heard you're not dating. You're not dating. See, like I haven't dated in year, years myself either. You're not dating. I think you are just working on you and enjoying being single, just like me. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Single supremal energy, whoever you are, I heard you're loving it. And um, let me tell you, there's been many years of me struggling financially, but I would take every freaking year of it. I tell you, because it gives you peace of mind. It gives you peace of mind, seriously. And I feel the same thing for you, whoever you are, masculine or feminine energy. I'm not saying you're struggling financially. I feel actually for a lot of you guys, you're not struggling financially. Um, but what I'm saying is it's worth it. It's worth it. In my opinion, it's worth it. And I feel you think it's worth it too. So in this aspect, it is single as a primal energy. You're loving it. You're all about that life, I heard. You're all about the S on the tax return, single life. Um, you're not dating. You're, I feel you're working on yourself. For some, you know, you could be going to the gym. You could be eating healthier. You could be working on business ideas. Hell, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But uh, you go through that self, just saying, just saying. So single as a Pringle, S on the tax return energy here. And you're loving it. And you're not, you're not whoring around. Um, you are growing and manifesting yourself, whoever you are. It's really beautiful. The candle, you will be shown the way. I feel this is goes for the mask at Libra. What is up? It's not even Mercury freaking retrograde. And I'm just like, ah. Um, this goes, I feel one with the Libra masculine with the mentor energy. Definitely. You will be shown the way. I feel mentor energy, heavy, strong here. Um, whoever you are, Libra masculine, that's really beautiful. Um, you know, it's always good to have positive people in your life. Now, whoever this mentor is to you, Libra masculine, it could be anybody. It could be someone at your workspace. It could be a boss. It could be a neighbor. It could be a family member. It could be a friend, um, whoever it is. But um, it's somebody that wants good intentions for you. I'll tell you that. It is definitely someone that wants good intentions for you. They want you to succeed in life. And, you know, it's always good to have those kind of people around you in life because it's when you have the people around you that, want to bring you down and compete with you and beat you down to a bloody pole is when things start going cray cray. And I don't care who those people are. Those could be anybody. Um, so kudos to you. A particular, particular Libra masculine is about to find out about a Libra feminine that is severely ill. One, a Libra feminine minor that is pregnant. You're about to find this out in a way you never expected. It's about to lead to a series of chain events that you're about to create. Uncovering the mystery. Okay. So some kind of mystery energy involving two Libras. Uh, one minor energy, one adult, I'm feeling. 
So um, you plug it in how it resonates, but there's some kind of mystery going on with these two Libras, uh, two Libra fans. Um, uh, uncovering the mystery could be that as well. Life is a mystery reverse. Um, it's a Libra femme adult and a Libra femme minor that is pregnant. Um, it's some kind of mystery energy. Um, you're about to find this out in a way you never expected. Um, so however that is and however it plugs in your life, you're a Libra masculine too. I'm pulling in such heavy, strong Libra masculine energy. It's not even funny. Um, but... Once you find this information out, whoever you are, I heard it's going to, you're going to initiate a series of chain events. So you're going to be the change maker. You're going to be the catalyst. You are going to be the umph here. You're going to create a series of chain events. Once you find this information out um, on the eel, it sounds like eel, older, Libra feminine, and the pregnant minor Libra femme. Um, it's going to, you, once you find this out in a way you never expected, it's, you're going to initiate a series of chain events. So you will be shown the way. Um, I think you will be shown the way energy is you finding this out in a way you never expected. And then you are going to be the catalyst and initiate a series of chain events after that is what I'm feeling. And also, too, this could be your pregnant minor um, Libra feminine energy here. Um for some of you guys, possibly, because this is younger woman dealing with a relationship with a younger woman. I heard the Libra femme adult, she's very ill. I don't feel, she, I mean, for some, it could be a younger uh, Libra feminine, um, 18 to 25, possibly for some. But I'm feeling for some, a lot of you guys, or at least one of you guys, I should say, it's the minor pregnant Libra femme um, for some of you guys. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. A feminine energy tennis player. Younger is about to become very significant in the Libra's life soon. A significant basketball game involving a feminine Basketball player is about to become significant soon. Adult basketball player. Okay. Okay. So for one of you guys, a younger um, younger adult female tennis player is about to become significant in your life soon. Um, you could be masculine or feminine. You plug that in, however that resonates. So in this case, this is the younger feminine adult tennis player in one aspect. In another aspect, this is the younger adult uh, female basketball player. Um, she is about to become significant in your life as well. So you, uh, some of you guys, it's a adult, younger um, basketball player. For some, it's a younger adult tennis player. Um, however, that resonates and maybe they're going to show you something or give you some kind of information or um becomes they're about definitely about to become significant in your life in some shape form or fashion but i think they're about to be a piece to a puzzle or show you something or give you some kind of information or something however that resonates and both of those by the way were i said that they were both adults And for one masculine Libra energy, this younger, pregnant, minor, feminine energy, she is about to become extremely, 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 extremely significant in your life. Extremely. There's way, 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 way more secrets there than you wanted to believe. And they are about to come out in huge, huge, huge ways. Huge. In ways you would have never expected. And they're about to come out quick. It's, go about, to, it's about to create many, 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 many series of chain events. And quickly. Oh my God. Wow. Holy crap. So you put... I have pulling one Libra. 
Libra masculine in here so strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so okay, so I did feel that pregnant minor Libra femme is significant. Well, she definitely is to at least one of you Libra masculines. She's about to show you the way in some kind of significant situation. I mean, apparently there's a ton more secrets there than I think you are highly intuitive, Libra masculine, the one about to deal with this pregnant teenage Libra um, femme minor. I think you suspected there were secrets there. But what you didn't realize is there is a shit ton of secrets. I mean a shit ton. And I heard they're about to come out soon, very quickly, in ways you would have never freaking expected. And very, very, very quickly. I heard she's about to become a very, very, very integral part of your life. So I wonder if some of you guys, if you're investigating her, or if you, maybe your child protective services and... um you do like a child protective service call on her or you have to end up taking her into custody because her family life is crazy. Um, however, that resonates. I didn't hear child protective services in here, but there's a reason you're about to get very, very, very heavily involved in her life. Or maybe you are um, somebody at her school. Maybe you're an administrator at the school and you're getting alarmed at some kind of situation involving her or maybe the pregnancy or something. And some kind of call gets called to the um, to her home through Child Protective Services, and maybe the secrets come out there, possibly. I mean, you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit, Libra Masculine. I'm feeling you might be a school administrator, a teacher, or maybe a member of the community that is concerned about her because of the pregnancy, and you're about to basically find out it's about to open a huge bag of worms. Her family secrets are huge, and they're about to come out hugely. Oh, my Lord. Heard her family secrets are huge and they're about to come out hugely. Holy crap. And in one case, there is heavy incest here. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. So, there's at least two pregnant Libra feminine teenagers in the universe. Um, one of them involves incest, apparently. And there's some huge family secrets, it feels like, in both of these situations. But one of them is, one of them is involving incest. And that's just so nasty, man. So, you plug it in how it resonates. I do. I feel you might be child protective services or you might be a public investigator. You might be a private investigator. You might be... An administrator at a school, her school, you might be uh, a teacher at her school, you might be a counselor. Um, and for some, I heard Libra masculine, but for some, you might be a Libra feminine that takes on heavy masculine, I'm feeling for some. And I'm serious about that. A particular Libra feminine is about to get heavily involved in this as well. Concern from this Libra masculine. High vibrational beings. Oh my God, this is wow. I think we're uncovering some of this mystery. There is something going on with some pregnant Libra feminine teenagers and their family life is terrible. Whoever this is, I mean, this is terrible. Um, okay, so you Libra masculine sounds, you're about, sounds like you're about to get he heavily involved in this. But once you get very like knees deep and arms deep in this, Sounds like you're going to need reinforcements here um, and some help is what it sounds like. And it sounds like a Libra feminine adult is about to help you. I heard you're both very high vibrational. Um, help you with this Libra, at least one of them, Lib pregnant Libra femme, teenage minors. I feel for some, you, you might be Child Protective Services. I didn't hear you were, but... I don't know how the world child protective services don't get involved in this, especially the one with the incest, because that is just so incredibly wrong. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. It just is. It is so wrong. And I hope child protective, child protective services gets involved in that in the New York Minute, because that is just so wrong. I'm serious. Okay, I'm going to quit going on about that, but I'm serious. Um, but yeah, so you're going to... You're, it, whatever, however you're connected to her. For some, you could be her coach. For some, you could be her coach. Maybe she, um, well, she, this is the minor one because there was adult tennis player 
young adult tennis player and a young adult basketball player in here, but that's not her. This is the pregnant minor, and there's at least two of them, and one of them has incest in her family. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. You plug it in how it resonates. I'm wondering about this. But um, Libra Masculine, for the last messages, the one where you're about to call in reinforcements, it sounds like in the Libra Feminine, adult high vibrational being, y'all both are adult high vibrational beings are about to help this pregnant minor Libra Feminine teenager. Um, I think y'all have good intentions. I just want to say that. I think you're, you have good, good, good intentions. Um, hopefully you can find her. I'm feeling abuse in this home. I mean, especially the one with incest. I didn't hear there was abuse, but I'm feeling there is. I mean, there there has to be with incest. Uh, that's just nasty. Um, but I heard there's a ton of secrets. A ton. So, I mean, they're about to come out. So, I, you plug it in how it resonates. I think you might interview her. I think you're about to interview her. And um, I think once you do, maybe I think it comes out in some shape, form, or fashion. However that comes out. And I'm I'm serious. And I think that might be some of the, you will be showing the weight energy as well. Um, maybe you notice something in nonverbal communication. Maybe she breaks down crying. Maybe she doesn't form eye con proper eye contact with you. Maybe she looks away when she speaks. M maybe it's something that comes out of her mouth. Um, but there's something going on with at least two pregnant Libra feminine teenagers in the universe. And one of them, there's some heavy, well, both of them heavy, dark family secrets. One, there's incest. So I think, uh, I think you're going to interview people. I think you're about to get highly intuitive. Uh, or you already are highly intuitive and you're about to be shown the way with your intuition and maybe possibly interviews or visits to people's homes or some kind of investigation. There's some kind of mystery going on too. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And um, I was also pulling in a Libra and Officer of the Law too. Um, and somebody's about to go camping, some with drugs, some not drugs. Um, Basketball player, tennis player, um, somebody that's so happy they're finally legal, sing, legally single. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Gemini is about to become very, very, very significant as well. You're about to learn very, very, very deep, raunchy secrets about this Gemini, Gemini masculine adult. It's going to cause you to take huge, quick action soon. Oh, my Lord. Libra. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear Lord. Okay, so whoever you are... Um, I think you're high vibrational, whoever that message is for, whoever you are, and however this message plugs in your life. But I definitely think you're high vibrational. You're about to learn, I heard some deep, dark, raunchy secrets about a Gemini masculine adult, a Gemini masculine adult. And once you learn these deep, dark, raunchy secrets, I heard raunchy, um, about this Gemini masculine adult, it's going to cause you to take quick, swift action. So, and you're high vibrational, whoever you are, whether you're the officer of the law, whether you are some kind of investigative energy with some kind of mystery. Um, I told you the people I thought it could be, maybe school, maybe counselors, maybe um, officers of the law, maybe child protective services, maybe teachers, administrative, something. Um, but you're about to learn, you're dealing with, the, I think it's dealing with this, pregnant Libra teenager here. I'm serious for some. For some, it could be dealing with some other kind of um, situation with this raunchy older, um, this raunchy adult Gemini masculine. Um, I heard some deep, dark, raunchy secrets. Um, but you're about to learn them from somebody is what I'm trying to say. I feel for some, you're about to learn them from this pregnant Libra teenager. Um, because they're going through, I mean, they have a rough family life, whoever, 
There's at least two of them, and one of them is so bad it's involving incest. Maybe for some, the incest could be the Gemini masculine for some of them. And I'm serious, but I heard once you learn them, it's gonna you're gonna cause you're gonna take quick action here. Quick action. So um I wonder if they're like a pedophile. I didn't hear they were, but I wonder if some they're like pedophile energy. Um these this Gemini masculine, a raunchy person. Um but you're about to learn the raunchy deep dark secrets from somebody is what I'm trying to say. It's from a younger woman energy I'm feeling. And that's going to show you the way and lead you to take swift action is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in how it resonates. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse speaking in sentences um, around the bush. But you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. But whoever you are, um, high vibing people, I think you have good intentions here. And you're going to be effective. It's going to be effective. But the information has to come out first, but it is about to come out. These people do not like to be confronted about the past. You're going to get a lot of clues from nonverbal. Know this. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I heard these people do not like to be confronted about the past. So who? I feel you might interview them. You might go question them. You might interview them. It's some kind of public energy I'm feeling. I feel you might be a public service person whoever you are, working with the public. Um, I'm serious. High vibing Libras, I think you work with the public. Or these people do not like being questioned about the past. They just don't because they, uh, because they know what they did in the past, apparently. And I heard, um, so I think you're going to question them is what I'm trying to say. I think you're going to question them, person, public service person, whoever you are. Um, and once you question them, I heard, your intuition is going to peak real, real high because you're going to see the nonverbal. Maybe they won't make eye contact with you. Maybe they look away. Maybe they start sweating. Maybe they start crying. Maybe um, they slam the door in your face. I mean, whatever nonverbal that is to where you can determine there is definitely something going on. However, that um, plugs in in one's life. Um but I heard your intuition is going to peak once you start interviewing them. Um, some kind of nonverbal cue or cues. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. Hope this helped. And namaste.